Before I go on a rampage, I will say, if you are not a victim, don't imagine it entirely from your point of view. Because if you are not a victim, it becomes pretty easy to mock your victims, label them stupid and dirty, and say that their life don't matter at all, and say that they're stupid and ridiculous, and that anybody who fights for the rights of your victims are misguided. But when you are the victim, things look a lot different from that point of view. Now, I wish that any slaughterhouse worker gets hang upside down, that their throat's been slit, or that somebody put a pistol in their hat and shoot them dirty hat. I wish that rodeo cowboys get iron spores in their bellies, that somebody put a leather strip to their on the testicles, so they feel external pain. I wish somebody will lasso them and put a strap on their neck, and then they're being drawn back to the people who throw that lasso. I wish that rodeo cowboys get trampled and that matadors get spitched on an iron stick. I wish that a fisherman get an iron hawk in their mouth forcibly and put to the bottom of the sea and drown so they feel how it feels to be a fish how it's, how it's uh, put out of his environment. I wish People for once will understand how it feels to be treated like nothing. Like the life don't matter at all. Fish drown in our world, in our environment, in the same way that we suffocate in Tao. Animals suffer just as much in the hellholes we call slaughterhouses as the victims of ISIS when they struggle when they cut their throats. I wish evil people get evil things on them. Yeah. Now, here come the kick. If people stop doing those things to the animals, I wish, and I repeat, I wish this not anymore to the abusers. My wishes are my wishes. I don't wish lollipops drop out of the skies and la gently land in the laps of vivisectionists. Or that a bunch of lollipops fill in the hands and tons of gold fill in the hands of rodeo workers or matadors or fishermen. I wish they feel how it feels to be treated like nothing, like there are shit what there are. I wish that I for once understand it. How it feels to be on the other side of the violence. Peace begins not by the ones who speak up for the victims. Peace begins by the oppressors. They can't show to stop in a disgusting piece of abomination. The victims in this scenario have no choice. They cannot escape. They cannot go to any place. They are considered tools by our sick society. But in reality, they are just as aware as many of us. The extremely proud naked ape. Check out Cambridge Declaration of Consciousness or the book uh, What a Fish Knows by this um, marine biologist uh, and researcher. I wish those people will change in a, 
in a logical way if you explain it. But the reality is, most people are shit. Most people don't change when you are show them a little way. They will mock you and say uh, that you are oversensitive or that you um, are uh, judging them or some other passive aggressive thing they can do. Most people are drones, not thinking. And that's not an insult. That's truly how I see it. Most people do what they are being told by their society cult. Or by their uh, social cult. Or by their social club or how you want to call it. And they don't think very much. Society does not encourage you to think a lot. Society encourages you to be the same as anybody else. Don't think. Do what you've been told. You know, like the Nazis. Most Nazi soldiers. Just follow with orders. You know. Most slave masters just follow instructions from how to handle slaves. Break their spirits. Make them obedient. Just like the um, uh, military still does. Please people. Awaken. And learn from your mistakes. Please. Be not such a cowardly. Self-entitled. Privileged. Scum. I think his life. Or the lives of his species or his family are more important than the lives of all other living beings. Animals are not yours. They are not yours to take. They are not made for you. Just like women are not made for men, 